all doing i hope you're all doing fine welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber but if you're new here you are welcome please don't leave this channel without subscribing subscribe and when you subscribe click the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video before I start our today's video, for those of you who don't know me, I am a mom of two years old girl. Oh my gosh, she's almost three years. I can't believe it. So I'm going to talk out of experience and the advice that I'm going to be giving today is the advice I could give to my young sister, the advice I could give to my best friend, the advice I would give to someone that I really love. And this goes to women who don't have babies yet, whether you are single or married. What are those important things you need to know before planning being a mom? So that is what we're going to be discussing today. But if you're a mom watching this video, please don't click off because I really need you so much. Watch this video to the end and at the end of this video write me in the comments below what are those important things that i forgot to mention which will help a lot of ladies out there so let us start now <laughs> number one being a single mother is really tough being a mother itself is really difficult but being a single mother is even more tougher guys so if you can avoid being a single mother, avoid it, stop it, because there are some those situations whereby we ladies find ourselves and we decide to be single mothers by choice. <laughs> Not because it happened by accident, but by choice. One of the situations can be you are in a relationship with a married man and you decide that mm, I'm going to get pregnant so that this man can leave his wife and stay with me it won't happen you remain a single mother don't be selfish another situation is whereby your age is going you have not found the right man for you mr right <laughs> so you, you you tell yourself that i'm going to be a single mother i'll find any man and get pregnant then have this kid it is so selfish do not do it another situation is whereby a man tells you that I am not going to marry you, but I want a kid from you. <laughs> so if you go ahead and get pregnant, this man is going to go and marry another woman. You stay a single mother and this man might even abandon you. Do not do that. Don't do it, please. Have kids with a man who really wants to have kids, who really want to have a family with you. But if that man is not ready to have a family with you, he does not want to marry you or he does not belong to you, <laughs> don't get pregnant for that man. Before you have a kid with a man, think twice. Think twice, my dear sister, my beloved friend, because this is all about the life of your kid and you. This kid needs both parents. So don't be selfish because when babies start to grow, they ask questions. And these questions are going to torment you for the whole of your life. You will feel like it is my fault and you'll feel it in your heart, which is really, really bad. So I have said, if you can avoid being a single mother, then don't do it. Before you have kids, please, please be very careful. It is so important. Being a single mother is not easy. And if you're a single mother watching this, I salute you. You are a strong woman I have ever seen. And keep on being a good mother to your kid. Number two, have fun as much as you can. Yes, I know it is never enough, but enjoy your time use your time very effectively by doing those hobbies that you like to do going out traveling oh my god those romantic moments together as a couple enjoy those moments together because when a baby comes everything goes to a stand still for some time sometimes it takes six months or a year for you to return to your normal routine so those romantic moments 
will have to stop for some time because you have to take care of your little baby <laughs> and <laughs> there are those babies who have a very difficult character <laughs> a baby who doesn't like to stay out you go to a mall a baby cries a lot you go to a restaurant a baby cries when you start eating to the end which will make you not enjoy your day out or not enjoy your dinner your dinner date so it is time for you to enjoy life go out have fun go to the restaurants if you like clubbing go clubbing do all those things that you need to do before you become a mom <laughs> it is so important and this is for both of you as a couple so do it enjoy life before number three thing you need to know before you become a mom is that being a mom is a great responsibility because you have someone to take care of you have someone to worry about you have someone who is looking up to you as a mother and you know we get pregnant <laughs> everything goes well you have your baby but there is that thing which is called sickness so with this sickness you need to know that as a mother it is a great responsibility do not abandon your baby if your baby gets sick there are those sickness which are really really bad and it is life guys they happen so if that one happens to your baby don't abandon your baby it is your responsibility to take care of that baby love your baby take care of that baby being a mother is tough being a mother is difficult but you can do it because God has given you that capacity of handling everything. Do not worry, just hang in there. Everything is going to be very fine. Being a mother is tough, but it is so sweet, guys, because waking up in the morning and seeing that beautiful little smile of your baby it is the most beautiful thing ever. It is so priceless. Number four thing you need to know before you become a mom is that motherhood comes with a lot of pain. Starting from pregnancy journey, there are those women who are very fortunate. They don't get a very rough journey of pregnancy. Everything goes very smoothly. But in general, guys, pregnancy can be a very, very tough Thing because starting from vomiting, nausea, morning sickness, spitting, like me, I spitted for nine months, guys. Every day, <laughs> till nine months, I was spitting. And it wasn't a very easy thing. I couldn't even go out, like in the restaurants or meet friends. No, because it made me feel very shy. So I could just avoid meeting with people it is not good so it was rough and labor guys labor pain oh my god i cannot even express it but the most encouraging thing is <laughs> when your baby is born oh my god it is so i don't know i don't know that happiness guys i don't know how i can explain that happiness someone gets when you see your baby for the first time when your baby cries for the first time it is so so beautiful it is a very very best thing ever <laughs> to any mother that have a baby and this thing makes me always to pray to all women that are looking for the fruit of the womb to have it god please listen to my prayers bless these women number five which is very important among all points that i have mentioned and the remaining one this is more important guys and i think it is also important for human beings not only pregnant women but you should know this when you get pregnant you need god close to you you need that close relationship with god because being pregnant guys you have life growing inside you and you don't know anything it is up to god it is god to protect that baby it is god to protect you it is god to give you health 
don't forget that pray to god talk to god every day sometimes uh pregnant mothers get weird dreams you know <laughs> or weird thoughts please talk to god tell him everything god is going to assure you that everything is going to be all right you're going to have that baby very safe and healthy and not only when you are pregnant but continue doing that because because god is everything in our life god is above all we need god in our lives so it is very important before you have a baby i think you need god in your life you need god in everything <laughs> another thing i would like you to know before you become a mom is that <laughs> depression after having a baby is real guys it is real i don't know if it happens to all ladies but to me it happened <laughs> so don't be surprised after you have have a baby then you start feeling very depressed you start feeling very angry you start feeling very stressed you start feeling very confused it is normal it happens but the only person that is going to save you from this is you yourself talk to yourself you're going to tell me bella if i talk to myself it means i'm going crazy no talk to yourself and, <laughs> and accept the reality that you are a mom give yourself that energy tell yourself that i can i am a mom i wanted to be a mom i can do it i'm going to be the best mother to my baby this is my choice i'm going to love my baby also another thing you can do is talk to your husband talk to him maybe he's not helping you you're having sleepless night it is something new <laughs> you had a very peaceful night now the baby cries all the night and you are by yourself your husband isn't helping you out talk to him tell him what you think tell him your worries tell him your frustrations it will help you a lot and also talk to god so last but not least when you get pregnant your body is going to change you'll start noticing some small changes and when you and when you have your baby it will change even more yes there are those fortunate women who don't change when they get pregnant or when they have their babies but in most cases your body is going to change it will experience some changes. I remember when, when I got pregnant and my pregnancy was almost, I think, five months. I stood in a mirror. <laughs> I had had a shower. So I stood in a mirror and when I looked at my boobs, <laughs> I noticed something green, like green lines under my boobs. This this place green lines guys i got scared i was like what is happening to my boobs <laughs> and they are really swollen so I, I told myself what is happening to me am i getting sick so when my husband returned i knew yes i was pregnant but i had no idea guys <laughs> so when my husband returned home i told him you know what i noticed i noticed something very strange i have green lines under my boobs then my husband was like you are pregnant <laughs> those are the changes and maybe your boobs are starting to prepare the milk for the baby <laughs> so don't worry when you get your baby you have a lot of changes in your body some women get a lot of stretch marks due to pregnancy so it is just normal it is okay it is not something to shy about and be happy about it <laughs> when you see those changes even if you want to feel like ah oh, i'm becoming ugly why did this baby do this to me <laughs> look at your baby and you feel very good you feel very proud of your baby because it has gone and the changes to have that beautiful baby that you have that you love the most and lastly guys i need you to know this before you become a mom everything gets busy when you have a baby i know it's true 
I'm going through that. It's really tough, especially when the baby is still little, like <laughs> one month or weeks. It's really tough. But remember that you are a mother and you are a wife. Do not forget your responsibilities as a wife. Do not forget that man. Do not abandon that man. Try to balance. I know it's hard, but try your best. Try your best. I know it is tough. I know it is difficult, but try your best. Please, my dear ladies, take care of that man. Give that man affection. Give that man love and make him understand that he exists. <laughs> This doesn't mean that you have to take care of your husband only and forget your baby. No, I know the most attention will be to the baby. But the other half or the other quarter that is remaining, give it to your husband, please. Because if you don't do this, you're going to destroy your marriage. And if you're married to a man who reacts to things in a very, very negative way, this man is going to leave you. This man is going to look for another woman or this man will turn into alcoholic. He will think that she does not care about me anymore. What cares only is her baby, you know? <laughs> so please remember your husband exists. If you have problems of helping around the baby, please talk to your husband and everything is going to be fine. You can do it. You can handle it because women we have got that power we have got that capacity so do not worry everything is going to be fine and your baby will never remain small that baby is going to grow <laughs> so it is just that moment so just try to balance things out Thank you so much guys for watching this video till now. I really hope you enjoyed, you learned something. It is going to help you. Even if it won't help you, please share it with friends, families, everyone that you think is going to be very helpful. Watch my other videos too. Comment below what you think. Like I said, if you're a mother and you think I forgot something to mention, of the most important things to know before you become a mom write me in the comments below so that all other women out there who don't have babies yet can learn something thank you so much guys again i love you so much you're always here in my heart let us meet in my next video ciao ciao Mwah.